everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel Kalanadi. Today I'm going to be doing my second reading goals update for 2015. I did my first update on my goals back in April and at that time I got rid of one and a half of my five reading goals and I'm not going to be going over those in this video. If you want to know more about that, you can go watch my first update. Goal number one was to read the 55 books from my 2015 reading list. I made a series of videos about the specific titles I wanted to read in 2015, ranging from classics and Shakespeare plays to science fiction, fantasy, and upcoming releases. And due to some publication dates being moved around, two books from that list were removed and I added one back, so I'm down to 54 books to read. And I have read, so far here at the end of August, 29 of the 54 books. Now, at this point in the year, I should have read like 66% or two thirds of the books on this list and I'm behind, but I don't think it is feasible or a reasonable expectation for me to read all of these books by the end of the year. It's just, I have been going off and reading other exciting things this year instead of reading books on this list and that is perfectly fine. Ow, sorry, that was, this always happens to me when I wear these earrings. Anyway, I, like I said, I don't think it's going to be reasonable for me to read all 54 of these books by the end of the year, but I do think that I'm going to make a sizable dent in this list, especially because I'm going to be reading like four or five more of them in the next month. So I think a, a reasonable expectation would be for me to read about 75% of these. My next reading goal was to finish or catch up on a number of series and I named some specific series in my original reading goals video and I don't remember all of them, I'm too lazy to go look it up, but I am so happy with myself for catching up on some series. I caught up on the Finishing School series by Gail Carriger, I'm ready for the next book to come out or the last book to come out in November. I have basically caught up on the Old Man's War series by John Scalzi and I'm ready to read The End of All Things, which just came out this month in August, yeah. Um, and I'm super proud of myself for finishing the Brother Cadfile mystery series. I had three final books to read this year and I did. And I also finished the Vorkosigan Saga by Lois and Master Bujold since my last update. And I'm not really concerned about any of the other series I may have mentioned in my original goals video because I think I've also done a pretty good job at just getting through series that I have started this year. Not necessarily with like the Culture series by Ann M. Banks, but I did read all five books in the Vada's War series by Elizabeth Moon very quickly. I read The Magician's Trilogy by Lev Grossman, things like that, the Steerswoman series by Rosemary Kirstein. So I just feel like I have stayed on top of series a bit better, which is the ultimate end goal to catching up on series in general, just getting in the habit of finishing series as quickly as possible. So I'm happy with this one. The only other series I definitely want to make more of a dent in before the end is over is the Vlad Talco series by Stephen Bruce. I have two more books uh, at hand to read in that and then I'll be getting more of the books from the library. My next goal was to reread my childhood favorite books. I called this my nostalgic rereading tour and have just a shelf on Goodreads of books that I want to reread. A lot of these are just favorites from roughly the ages of 11 to 14 that I want to reread to have a new or more informed opinion on those books as an adult, but also just for the joy of rereading something you have a lot of nostalgia for. And I've also done really well at just rereading books. I reread the six Green Notebooks by Ellen Boston. I did a series overview of that, which I'm still really proud of. I reread the 10 books in the Chronicles of Amber series by Rogers Lasney, and I also did a series overview of that, which I am also quite proud of. And I've recently reread The Left Hand of Darkness and The Word for World is Forest by Ursula K. Le Guin. So I've reread about 18 books this year, which is more than 10% of the books I've read in this year, and double the number I reread in 2014. So yay! I feel good about this one too. The only other books that I want to reread by the end of the year should be really easy to reread, and those are the last two Polly O'Keefe books. Dragons on the Waters and A House Like a Lotus by Madeline L'Engle and the Harper Hall trilogy by Anne McCaffrey because I did get the new reprints from Saga Press and they're really beautiful and they have special introductions and I 
really need to reread those books. And the final goal that I'm focusing on is to read more longer books. Now, I don't have a number at the moment of how many books I've read that are over four or 500 pages, but I can already tell you because I've read like six Neil Stevenson books this year that I have been doing a lot better at this. A lot of what's helped me get over the mental barrier of reading just really chunky books that are like awkward and difficult to hold is that I've been using my Kindle to read longer books much more it's just more comfortable. I don't get psyched out about reading something very long. And I've actually been hiding the progress display at the bottom um, and not checking it at all. So usually I don't know, I won't look until I'm pretty sure I'm over halfway through a really long book. And that's like mentally helping me quite a bit. I'm not gonna fret about this goal much more this year because I think I've done pretty darn well already and I have other things I want to read, and if they are not long books, I'm not gonna worry about it. I also, as you can probably tell, most of these goals don't have a great way for me to measure progress. I, they're more like challenges, and I just have a gut feeling for how well I've been doing at it. At the end of the year, I will crunch more numbers and figure out like how many books I read that were four to 500 pages long, or you know, 600 pages and more, whatever. But for right now, I'm trying not to think too hard about it and just using my goals as directives to point me in the right way and not obsess about it too much, which I think is a healthier attitude than what I've done in the past. Also, as a side note, I did hit my 2015 reading challenge on Goodreads. I set my challenge to 150 books every year and I don't bother to bump it up after that. I, I did meet my 150 books goal in August and I'm probably on track to read as many books as I read in 2014, which is a little over 200, which I think is a pretty good number. And that's it for my update. That's where I am at. I. As I probably said a million times, I'm feeling really good about this and I'm already thinking ahead to what I would like to do for reading goals or challenges in 2016 because it's fun and I kind of want to do something different. Anyway, if you guys have any reading goals this year and you want to share how well you've been doing at them, please comment down below and I will talk to you again in my next video. Bye.